A local musician is finding her way after losing her eyesight. Yeah, she's actually one of the first blind music students at Portland State University. It's a great story. Our Amy Frazier has her inspirational story. I'm playing for everybody, but at the same time, I'm playing for myself. I feel like I can do anything. It's like the biggest adrenaline rush and the biggest feeling of happiness. With her eyes closed, 29-year-old Christina Ebersol makes her viola sing. I can still hear. That's the most important thing to me. <laughs> she started losing her eyesight in 2012. It was absolutely terrifying. Christina is now legally blind. Literally, when I open my eyes, I see a lot of fuzzy. Eyes she's always relied on. Growing up, Christina learned more than a dozen instruments. She studied music at a community college, but going on to music school was too expensive, so she joined the Army. Not long after that, she started losing her vision, first in the left eye, and then in the right. And that's when everything hit me that, oh my God, I'm gonna go blind. I'm not gonna be able to do things anymore. I'm not gonna be able to be the person I am. Christina has what's called neuromyelitis optica spectrum disorder, which attacks the optic nerves and spinal cord. And I had sat in depression for a month and just let it consume me. And then one day I was sitting and um, I turned my phone on Pandora because all phones have a, a voiceover feature. Playing on her phone was classical music. It just made me stop and I was like, I remember this, I remember how to play this. So I went and I picked up my viola and I was able to pull it out and play it a little bit. And I was like, I still know how to do this. I can still do this. And as the days went by, I realized that it was just, I just had to find a new way. It was just a matter of forging a new path in my life. Now a second year viola performance major at Portland State University. She's learned how to do everything differently from walking with a cane. This helps me see the ground around me. To learning music by ear. First I listen to it so I, I understand how it is and then I memorize it and then I play with the recordings to make sure that I'm accurate and go through the braille to make sure I didn't miss anything. I've learned that I'm a much stronger person than I thought I was. You can't change your life just by sitting there and feeling sorry for yourself or be woeing your circumstance. You have to just pick up and find a new way. <laughs> I'm very happy. As long as I have my music, I'm happy. In Southwest Portland, Amy Frazier, Coin Six News.